black, but the females are orange. When the babies are born, they're born a much lighter color to match her. And over the next couple months to now, he's starting to get dark, but he's not completely dark yet. He'll change into that black coloration. So you can get right up to them. I don't know what you guys want. So I don't want to shake anything it. until we... Do we... Um, and I have three, two other groups that will come down. Adult male, Quinn, who's the dad. She's keeping him at a distance. He's on the um, side. They got an yeah. side or something? Or? Um, no, he's just because she's got the baby on him. So another difference between higher primates, and we're starting to talk about the differences, higher primates and prosimians, he never does. Um, so, well, um, yes. But, um, 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 but yes, thank you. Uh, I graduated in October. Um, but it's hard to do, hard to do. Oh my gosh, I want one. I want a baby. Don't look him in the eye. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when the babies are born, do you guys get involved? Do you let them, we let them do what they need to do? Right. You never know. Versus, um, Sometimes involved. that noise works. We get involved, it gets not as... Don't make fun of me, Wes. Okay, well, we can keep going down the path because okay. I see the um, cockroach or fox. Oh, yeah. Guys, yeah. Drusilla is with Amelia. Right here yeah. in the orange collar. Oh. Katie is the oldest daughter in this group at this time. She's had older offspring, but they've moved to other groups uh -huh. or started their own family. Um, next to her is Julian. He's the adult male. And then uh, Pontius is back there. He's the young, um, last year's infant. Now, which so, came first, Julian, your Julian, or Julian from the movie? Uh, oh. our, our Julian. Oh, <laughs> By far, yeah, our Julian. Yeah. And so we'll, well, I'll show you some of the oh. lemurs that are um, were actually used in the movie. Some of them live here. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey Dave, I have a feeling oh these. This baby, so he just turned a year. Oh. Yeah, and they're so very very beautiful. We have some oh. other species that live up in the well, all they live all live up in the trees, but you know you hear them coming for miles because they're not. Species, but their main character was a puppet, but also um, they filmed Zabumaku here with um, one of one or two of our shifaks. Um, so we do have him, and so he tends to did. Mm -hmm. And he was a volunteer here yeah. for a lot, quite some time. Mm -hmm. And that's why he chose to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They come to. Well, those are cranberries, or what are those? Craisins and raisins. Craisins. Yeah, sorry, I don't want to be in the way. Yeah. No fighting. No fighting. Whatever. So even though the um, blue-eyed blacks are smaller than the cockroach fox, they usually run the show. Cockroach fox, yeah. So ringtails will hopefully become... They have an excellent hearing. So they can come from a long way. It's a smaller enclosure. Most of our enclosures is the blue-eyed blacks. So when you see that jumping motion, it's very different with the cockroach fox. They're, so when they're on the ground, they'll do a hop or a cross hop. So it's like a on the ground hopping instead of forward. When they're in the trees, they're doing the same thing. They're from here, push off, turn. Yes. <laughs> How many do you have up for adoption? adoption? We will have eight up for adoption, plus our baby that has not been named yet. So I'll, I'll introduce you to that baby today who hasn't been named. Um, I know. I know. You know true. what's going on. I'm sorry. i got to find the ring. And are they generally pretty calm and docile? And I mean, they don't... To be on non-protected contact, they have to be okay with the public. However, they do have different personalities. The female sure fox, the females are going to be tough. They can be kind of moody at times. Um, and the males can be a little more... Um, Julian's a little tough too. He's he will every morning I come in and say good morning and he flicks his tail at me just to kind of 
like an agitation thing. No. No one told him to. The blue eyed blacks tend to be a little more. Um, <laughs> As you can see, on his head, he's still a wee bit red. He yeah. will change fully black. But as he ages, so he still has a wee bit of that red left. I hear you getting all excited. I know, I'm sorry. No, I, I think that's well, great that you, um, <laughs> this probably is a job for you. Keep shaking, because otherwise you'll follow me. I'm going to go see if I can find the ring towels. Very, very few people. I can't tell you the number of people that I come in contact with on a regular basis who say, I didn't even yeah. appear. Um, it's been a very it's a secret hidden gem. Right. Because, oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't move her. Yep. And, um, 1965. Yes, I'm sorry. They're between 12 and 15 years. And um, so with this oh species gosh. of lemur, like these species anywhere between 12 and um, 19 years in the wild, whereas our oldest pup... What is your background? My background is oak head of Africa, and I did a lot of... Um, yes. Yeah. No? Okay, so are you familiar? So I... Dish, the um, tropes are very... Or the cockroach are very... Yeah, I was just commenting because, you know, I, I have a pretty great job, I think, but yeah. I don't go in... I don't get as excited as you do, <laughs> like when there's tornadoes coming or no, I bet. when it's you know sunny or whatever. So right, I right, think right. that's great. Robbie, what do you think if we do a cutaway? We're, we're on me, and we don't have to worry about... Because I'm partially worried about me getting this in a short number of takes. Yeah. yeah. So I shorten my lines where I'm in the... Sh Can you tell the babies something again? Uh, what is a head shave? Oh, okay. Alright, so this Ooh, is the red tail. This is ring tail. Ring tail. Yeah. Ring tail, okay. Which sounds like a lot if you're a ring-tailed lemur from the deserts of southwest Madagascar, where they get less than half that annually. Yep. Ready when you are. Ring-tailed. Ring-tailed lemur from the deserts of southwest Madagascar. Yep. Put your phone underneath you because my next shot I'm going to stand up and get it wide okay. with them at your feet. Ring-tailed lemur from the deserts of southwest Madagascar. Yep. Okay. All right, ready? Yep. Three. Which sounds like a lot if you're a ring-tailed lemur from southwest... From Ready when you are. Ring-tailed lemur from the deserts. Okay. Three, two... Which sounds like a lot if you're a ring-tailed lemur from the deserts of southwest Madagascar, where they get less than half that annually. 
like a lot if you're a ring-tailed lemur from the deserts of southwest Madagascar, where they get less than half that annually. <laughs> um, are these things edible for humans? Yes, they're okay. just crazy. They're ocean spray craisins. And okay. if you can get us a um, corporate sponsorship from um, Ocean Spray, I'd love you. Will you throw me a couple? Mm -hmm. You can throw. Hmm, these things aren't half bad. Okay. Hmm, these things aren't half bad. <laughs> Think we got a good one? Yep. All right, now let's get. And then do I have to do um, WNC and Chief? I'm both having a heart attack. Panic, 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 panic. I'll get fired. I'll get really fired. Okay. Where is he? He's right over your shoulder, your right side. Like, do you want me to look at him? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'm WNC and Chief Meteorologist Wes Owenstein, and that's that. What's your oldest ringtail? Yeah, we are. That's all right, baby again. She's pretty husky. Sprite. Yep. Three. I'm WNC and Chief Meteorologist Wes Owenstein, and that's a fact. I'm WNC and Chief Meteorologist Wes Owenstein. He's walking away. Okay, to my left. Three, two. I'm WNC and Chief Meteorologist Wes Owenstein, and that's a fact. Okay. Do so you want some red rocks now? Here's my. Okay. So he's a young male, so he's bottom of the totem pool. That's why he's lingering. And you guys have you might go wild crab and crab feeders. And crab brothers. 20 years old. He lives at one of our enclosures with the rest of his forest. Um, for his forest family. Okay, that's over there. That is one of the rabbit fingers. And we'll be seeing one of them. They are very old. Nice. Do they even go down to that facility? Room? Sometimes, um, just um, once a day, we have a special tour where you have to walk the tour, and then you get to so for the there. first six weeks. So, okay. they but that's only about six. They wrap their tail all the way around, real funny, and hang on. I keep wanting to do it, but and then they start to get bored. Yeah, they sold out. Um, well, I'm sure that you know someone. So this is her first baby. She's only three. Duggan is. And you may wonder why are they called mongoose But it's difficult to get food sometimes in the dry season. And so during the dry season, they have to so they have to be all, not quite, but more nocturnal. They can actually come back to the for each different species, yes. Each different species has a different day. This is the exception to that. These are the red rocks, and their cousins, the black and white rocks. They can have up to six rocks. Little head poking out. So that's a little male. Okay. Okay. Here comes Mama. This is Mama Pia and Gertrude. This is Conrad. This is he six. Ferdinand, and here he is. Dun, 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 dun. This is Zabu right here. Oh no, that's Ferdinand, and that's Zabu. Sorry. Ferdinand's getting quite large. I know, Pia. I got really nothing for you, love. And so this is Pia, who is Mama, very dominant and her new baby Gertrude. Gertrude is three months old. And Conrad, he's just turning six. See, Pia loves her, uh, really? Who is that one? Let me see, this is Ferdinand. Or no, this is Zabu, sorry. He and, he and um, Ferdinand are the same. So there's Zabu right there. His real name is Jovian. Because Jovian, he has a little bit of grayer eyes. That's, um, not they usually don't stick together for that long but um they make such beautiful babies mm -hmm. yeah so ferdinand is on top and jovian's on the bottom yeah not terribly pungent mm -hmm. oh gertrude so we um did a fundraiser with full steam but yeah so there you go there's 
And so as you can see, they are browsing. We very much encourage them to browse. Um, this species, their favorite real little treat out in the forest is poison ivy. Um, but um, in the wild, they just Time. I know. The dark side. I know. I think about it regularly, but the I know only our thing healthcare I... is bad, but <laughs> I know I want that <laughs> just in case, and just in case my daughter needs to go to school in Canada. I kind of want to. Oh, look at some gold shields. Um, yeah. So not yet. One day, maybe we'll see. And your husband's from Canada as well. Or? He is, but he's dual citizen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he's fine. And then my daughter's dual too just me that's the holdout. Okay, good. Okay, we ready? Yep. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh, except for that mic. I'm not, I don't have no. both. Okay, so very important. Yes. First and last name and spelling as okay. well as your title. Okay. So we have that. Sure. Record because we might not be the ones that edit this later. Okay, so, so great. Go ahead and go. Okay, uh, Jan Janice Kalin. K Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E. Okay. Kalin, K-A-L-I-N. Uh, development officer at the Duke Lemur Center. Okay, mm -hmm. hopefully that's the hardest question we ask you. Okay, good. So in a couple weeks, we have mm -hmm. Lemur Palooza. Can, yes. for someone who, number one, doesn't know the Lemur Center is here, and number two, What's Lemur Palooza? Can you tell us what it sure. is? So um, the Duke Lemur Center is uh, the world's largest collection of lemurs outside of their native Madagascar. Lemurs are the most endangered mammals on the planet. So this is a little hidden gem in the triangle that we hope that everybody can come out and visit. It's a wonderful educational resource for um, members of the triangle. Lemur Palooza is just to gain a little bit more awareness for these wonderful, wonderful creatures. We want people to come out. It's a different avenue for people to come out. Usually they can come out and um, come on a tour. It would be a guided tour. But we'd like folks to come out, relax, meet the lemurs, and select a lemur that they would like to adopt and help support for the following year. Now tell me, we've all seen lemurs on TV and mm -hmm. in movies, real and animated, but tell me something that I'm going to be wowed by about lemurs that I didn't know before today. Well, in Madagascar, there's more than 80 different species of lemurs, so it's not just that beautiful ringtail. But here at the Lemur Center, we have 16 different species of lemurs, and so you will get to meet several different species of lemurs, all the way from our little itty-bitty mouse lemurs that are only two ounces at adulthood, all the way up to our beautiful cockerel shafok that can jump 30 feet in a single bound. And this is something for all ages, kids all and ages. adults. Yes, we'd love to have families come out um, so that they can come. We will have food um, at a food truck so that they can come, bring a picnic table or bring a picnic blanket. To start, start that one over. <laughs> so, we yeah. want you to bring large picnic tables. Large if you have to picnic rent a truck. Tables, totally rent a truck and then come on out. Okay, so yes, of course, it's for all ages. We'd love you for you to come out with your family, um, grab a picnic blanket, sit on our um, new uh, picnic area, grab some food at a food truck and um, enjoy the lemurs. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was, I think you're great at this. Okay. Guys, so anything? Wait, if I want to come to the event, mm -hmm. you're saying you have to. Right. Okay. If you want to come to the event, we really hope that you can call and make a reservation. Okay. Our only limitation is the amount of parking. So um, this is a restricted event, so you do have to have a reservation. Please give us a call at 919-401-7252 to make your reservation. Okay. okay. Perfect.